What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing loan report number 3 of 4 of our loan report series for the 2021-2022 season. But before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content then please do subscribe. Social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Also, don't forget to leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video. 200 likes once more is the like goal. And also, don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And also, this video is sponsored once more and brought to you by One Football. This video is brought to you by OneFootball. If you want to download the OneFootball app, all you need to do is press the link at the top of my description, which will take you forward to where you can download this app. The OneFootball app is extremely useful if you are a huge football fan just like me. It provides you with the latest footballing news, transfer news, and the latest videos as well. It is one source of information of where I get my transfer news from. It also allows you to see the latest scores with what's happening in the footballing world if you just click on a game including any Manchester City game it will not only bring up the latest team news but it will also bring up the latest statistics and keep you up to date with everything happening in that game if you want to download this app all you need to do is press the link at the top of the description to stay up to date thank you very much to one football for sponsoring this video all details they're in the description let's crack on with this video today we're going to be talking Talking about James Trafford, Pablo Moreno, Aro Muric and also Tommy Doyle. So we're going to start off with the first player which is James Trafford and I've got a feeling this is going to make everybody smile. Now he first went out on loan to Accrington Stanley in League One in the summer. He made 11 appearances, conceded 26 and kept two clean sheets with Accrington Stanley. They didn't rate him that much and so he was recalled early in the January transfer window and he was loaned out once more to League One this time to Bolton Wanderers. He started 15 times at Bolton Wanderers in that time, conceding just 12 goals and keeping seven clean sheets. It's clear to see that Bolton's style of play is suiting him and it's uh, he's playing uh, some lovely football there as well. He seems to be enjoying himself and he says that Bolton like to keep the ball on the field, they like to keep it on the ground and pass it around and that's exactly where his forte is and so he's really enjoying his football there. Uh, he said that he doesn't ever want to go back to under 23 football, he wants to play the men's game, he's 19 years old, his city contract apparently is up in the summer according to Transfer Market, that has been contradicted by sources at Bolton Wanderers, uh, the Bolton News have said that uh, his contract is up in the summer of 2023. If his contract is up in the summer I can see him leaving Manchester City on a free if not then I can see him potentially being loaned out by Manchester City once more. And what I would recommend for James Trafford is for him to have a regular season under his belt, get 46 games of football in League One with Bolton, where he's clearly enjoying himself and see where he goes from there. Bolton, uh, they've got a lot of money when it comes to League One. They're a club that's going to be looking to try, probably not this season, make the playoffs, but they'll certainly be looking for top six next season and potential, uh, the potential of getting themselves back into the championship and uh, if James Trafford can help Bolton to achieve that goal, then that would be excellent for him. To me, he is a solid goalkeeper who has got a big future ahead of him. Uh, so if he's enjoying himself and it's working, then we'll see where that goes. Uh, I would say in the next 18 months, uh, if he is still at Manchester City, assess from there. He reminds me a lot of Gavin Bazunu. Uh, I've got a feeling that one, if not both of these keepers within the next 12 months will not be at Manchester City. But one thing does seem to be very clear at Manchester City when it comes to producing young, top quality goalkeepers, we're actually doing something very, very right at the academy. We're producing excellent goalkeepers. So kudos, Man City. 
keep it up. Now moving on, next we're going to speak about Pablo Moreno, Spanish striker, 19 years old. He was sent to Girona in the Spanish second division. He's made 13 appearances, assisted none and scored just one goal. He started just 3% of games for Girona so far this season. So when I was doing my research, that's suggesting to me that uh, there's some kind of injury that's held him back. No. No injuries, he's just not being utilised. To me, this is a waste of a loan and the success that we've just had of James Trafford at Bolton Wanderers, he's only been there a short time, but it's very successful. And then here we've got Pablo Moreno, who's just not being used at all by Girona. To me, a waste of a loan. We've had problems before with loaning players to Girona and them actually utilising these players. It, it doesn't ever seem to work there. And I'm not too sure why we carry on sending players out on loan there. And Pablo Moreno is a player that Man City definitely rate because we signed him for nine million million pounds from Juventus back in 2020 which is clearly showing how highly he is rated by the Manchester City Chiefs so um Unlike many, many other loan stories, I would really like Pablo Moreno not to be loaned out by Manchester City next season. I'd like for him to have a full season of EDS football under his belt, make use of the facilities and the academy at Manchester City and the coaches that we've got available and see how he develops and then assess from there. His contract until 2025, still got another, what, three years left on his contract and so there's, there's still plenty of time to play with here uh, with Pablo Moreno and his development and progress in football. Now moving on, another goalkeeper, this time R.O. Muric, 23 year old Kosovo international goalkeeper, currently out on loan in Turkey at Adana Demispor. He's made 24 appearances, conceding 23 in Turkey and keeping 8 clean sheets as well. Not too shabby that from the big man. He's contracted at Manchester City until 2024 and I've heard some flickers, I've heard some rumours just floating around here and there that there is interest from Turkey in Aro Muric in the summer on a permanent transfer. Adana, they're keen, naturally is already there. I'm hearing other Turkish clubs could well be interested in signing Aro Muric as well. To me, with Aro Muric being contracted at Manchester City until 2024, uh, I don't see the point in us loaning him out next season and then the season after loaning him out again before releasing him. He's got two years left on his contract. Get him sold, get some money in and let R.O. Muric really kick on with his career. He's another top quality goalkeeper that Manchester City have helped develop. And like I said, when it comes to goalkeepers, City seems to be doing everything right, in my opinion. Now, moving on to the final player to speak about takes us on to Tommy Doyle. City man through and through. And he's been told to go and impress at Cardiff City. And then he's going to be assessed for the potential of more possible first team opportunities so I'm here to speak about Tommy Doyle and will that happen he's made 12 appearances since joining Cardiff in January scoring two assisting one starting in 85% of games for Cardiff City as well which is really good uh, he's getting games he's getting experience in the championship uh, so that's all good and he seems to be progressing really nicely now we do have to speak about his other loan that he had from the summer to January that just didn't work out and it's a massive shame because he was meant to spend the season in Germany at Hamburg in the second division. Uh, he made just six appearances in Germany which didn't do him any good. He needed regular game time and so Manchester City decided to recall him, send him out to the championship in England and see how he gets on from there and he seems like he's enjoying his football in Wales more than he was in Germany. Uh, when it comes to potential first team opportunities for Tommy Doyle next season, I'm not sure. With uh, just getting a few months of uh, game time under his belt through January, February, March into April and May, is that enough for him to come back to Manchester City and compete for a first team squad? Now most certainly, I think he should be given pre-season to show what he can do. And if Man City think what's best for his development is to keep him around the first team squad, then do that. Promote him up to the first team squad. Utilise him. If it comes to a decision of signing a player for the sake of signing a player in central midfield or using Tommy Doyle, I'd rather us use 
Tommy Doyle. Now, if Manchester City think to themselves, actually, Tommy Doyle isn't yet at the quality that we are looking for, then send him out on loan. A full season in the Championship uh, with regular playing time would do him the world of good. Uh, and Cardiff City, they're utilising him, and uh, should they not make it to the Premier League, I think would be an option there, most certainly, for Tommy Doyle. But I think the big question mark hanging over the head of Tommy Doyle, the big question it needs answering, is he Premier League quality? That's the question. Is he Premier League quality? He's contracted until June 2025. We've still got another three years to find that answer out and Manchester City must get this loan spell of Tommy Doyle correct. If he needs loaning, loan him. If they think that he's ready, use him. They're the two options with Tommy Doyle. The last thing we want to do is him getting regular playing time at Cardiff City, bring him back to Manchester City, not to utilise him, and then we get to next winter and we loan him out again to the Championship and he's wasted 12 valuable months of his career at this early stage of development. City must get this right uh, and I'm confident that we can. Like I said, the only way to assess properly if he can keep himself fit is give him pre-season uh, when we go over to the United States and see how he does around other first team players. And if we think that we're ready, don't sign a central midfielder in the summer transfer window and use Tommy Doyle. If we think actually we're going to go for a more senior player, then we'll have to wait and see. I think a lot uh, lies here on what happens with Fernandinho and his contract but we still don't have a decision on that so we'll have to wait and see so there we go that has been loan report number three we've got one more episode coming out later in the week for you guys to enjoy uh, and then we'll probably have a transfer update out and then it's back on with the resumption of the season and that big final push towards the end of the season so i'll see you all guys all again for that very soon so if you're enjoying the content subscribe Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. 25,000 subscribers, that's the aim. We're now less than 400 subscribers away from 23,000 subscribers. So we're making some really good gains. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget as well, social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, my email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video. 200 likes, that is the like goals. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below as well of what you made of these loan performances. What do you think Manchester City should do with Tommy Doyle? Let me know in the comments below and also go and check out today video sponsor one football all details there in the description go and press that link in my description go and download the three one football app it does help to support the future content created here on my channel and it gives you in my opinion the best footballing app out there and i'll see you guys all again in a couple of days loan report number four completing our loan report series go and check out loan report one and two they're on my playlist on my channel if you want to go and check them out and i'll see you all again real soon so i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone is safe and well the big question it's red but it's adidas let me off i'll see you all again very soon so i've been jsgc peace ciao for now <laughs>